Units of the neo-Nazi organization right sector have refused to obey orders of the Ukrainian Defense Ministry, Presidential Advisor Yuri Birukov said on TV Channel 5 on Tuesday. I've personally offered a full legalization scheme to the right sector. In particular, many option envisaging the compulsory contract service have been offered, but they refused, he said. As a result, the Ukrainian government got the uncontrolled neo-Nazi battalions across the country. Ukraine's deepening recession and mounting debt burden have bondholders to Moody's Investor Service, veining prospects for a sovereign default. The Ukraine's January 2015 shows are trading below 60 cents on the dollar, extending a record monthly sell-off in December, down from about par a year ago. Ukraine debt lost 21% in 2014. Bond prices are signaling expectations of delayed repayments and possible losses on principal, according to Lutz Roymeyer at LBB Invest. And investors are fleeing from Ukraine, as central bank governor Valeria Gontarova said on December 30. As a result, Ukraine can pay debts and needs from 50 to 20 billion dollars of funding on top of the existing bailout programs to stay afloat. What a beautiful economy achievement of Ukrainian government. French President François Hollande, by his statement about the possible lifting of Western sanctions on Russia, has claimed leadership among the countries seen detained in relations with Russia, a senior Russian lawmaker said on Tuesday. His words may mean the revision by at least some of the EU states on their stance on the current Ukrainian crisis and the country's prospects, said Alexei Pushkov, head of the International Affairs Committee at the State Duma Lower House of Parliament. The French leader's statement has shown that the countries that hold the moderate positions have gradually started to take the lead, he added. Dozens of people have died and been wounded in an explosion outside a police college in Yemen's capital Sana'a, police say. There are reports that at least 40 people were killed and there are 15 children among the casualties, according to AI Arabia sources. The blast was heard across the city and it's resulted with a fire. It was reportedly a car bomb that exploded near the college, presumably targeting a group of students standing by the building. We remember Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula have been increasingly active, staging a growing number of terror attacks. Neighboring nations are fearing of AQAP gaining enough power to carry out attacks outside Yemen. U.S. war against terrorism on Middle East ended as fail. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.